Hey, how soon guys? In this tutorial, I'll be walking you to how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2019 database system and as well as how to install SQL Server Management Studio. So if this is the first time you are installing SQL Server, SQL Server is a database system which allows you to store databases and the tables. But to be able to write SQL statements to create data sets from your tables, you have to use SQL Server Management Studio or other third party tools. Personally, I found SQL Server Management Studio to be the best tool to work with. Anyway, let's get started. So the first step is you want to go to Microsoft SQL Server Downloads page. And I'll post a link in the description below. So once you get to this page, you have two options. So you, have, you can download the developer edition or you can download the express edition. The differences between these two editions is that the developer edition gives you uh, full features over standard uh, Microsoft SQL Server. But when it comes to license, uh, you can only use SQL Server developer edition for development and testing. You cannot use the developer edition for any uh, production types of work. First, if you use the express edition, and which is a little bit watered down, so you get uh, 10 gigabyte of storage and one gigabyte of memory. But with the Express Edition, you don't have to worry too much about license. You can use the Express Edition for production development. It can be for your desktop application, web application. I'll be using the Developer Edition for demonstration, the setup process for the Developer Edition and the Express Edition are basically the same. So here I'm going to click on Download Now. And I already uh, downloaded the file. So you want to download the setup file uh, to your local drive. And the name is going to be uh, SQL 2019 hyphen. And based on the edition that you are installing, so the name may be a little bit different. And once you finish uh, download the, the file, so here let me go back to my uh, download folder. And you want to double click the, the file and to launch the, the installation process. So here you get three options. So basic, custom, uh, and download media. And I'll skip download media. The difference between basic and the custom is that uh, with custom, you can choose what features that you want to include. First with basic, uh, it comes with basically uh, all the tools that you need to start working with uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So if this is the first time that uh, you're installing the SQL Server database, then I'll suggest you choose basic. So here I'm going to choose basic. And you want to go to the, the license uh, agreement. And once you finish reading everything, you can click on accept. And here you want to choose your uh, installation location for the directory location, I'll leave that as default and click on install. And once the installation is finished, so here we get um, four different uh, items. The first item is the instance name. So this is basically your uh, SQL Server address. And I'll just leave this as default. And the second item is the log. So every time when you do something, SQL Server is going to create a log file. And the log file is going to be saved uh, within this directory right here. And for the SQL engines and the version uh, file, so I'll basically uh, leave those as default. And that's it. If you want to make sure that your SQL Server database is installed successfully, you want to click on uh, Connect now. A command prompt window will display and it will show the, the Microsoft SQL Server version information. And here it shows my current Microsoft SQL Server database uh, is, is 2019 and version 15.0. So if you don't see this message, that means uh, your SQL Server database is not installed correctly. And if that's the case, you might have to reinstall the whole thing from scratch. And once you finish install SQL Server database, 
you want to install a SQL Server Management Studio. So to install SQL Server Management Studio, you want to click on Install SSMS, and that takes you to the uh, SQL Server Management Studio installation page. So if you're using SQL Server 2017, they use the same version of SQL Server Management Studio. So once you get to this page, and I'll post the link in the description below as well, you want to click on Download SQL Server Management Studio link. And click on Save File and save this file to your, uh, to your local drive. And I already downloaded the file, so let me go back to my download folder. And so double click on the file and to launch the setup process. And the setup screen is going to uh, appear. Here you can choose the location where you want to install SQL Server Management Studio. And I'm actually going to change my, my location. If you're not sure uh, the location where you want to uh, install the SQL Server Management Studio, uh, just leave this as default. But for me, I'm going to change my folder location to uh, to software. So this is the folder where I save all my uh, software files. And click on install. And once the installation is complete, and close this window. So if you go back to your programs, and you should see, uh, so if you do a search for um, SQL Server Management Studio, and you should see uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18 uh, is now installed on your, uh, on your uh, PC. So click the program. So I'm actually going to close this. And I'll close this window as well. Okay, and now this is the, the login page. If you don't see your server name uh, display under the server name, so you want to click on this drop down and click on browse for more. So under the database engine uh, folder, so this uh, all this group is going to list all your SQL Server instances. So I actually have two SQL Server instances. I'm going to choose the first one and click on connect. And now you connect to your uh, SQL Server database. So if you open a new query. And if you type select and the add symbol server and server name and click on execute and that's going to return your server name all right guys so this is everything i have to show you in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful so i'll post all the links in the description below and as always uh send you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next video